Greetings and welcome into Friday Night Live, everybody, on a Thursday night, yes. one day early because of fall break. And for the first time this year, Chris, we had high school football with a bit of a chill in the air, and that I just I saw feels right, Amazing. doesn't it? <laughs> Our FNL game of the week was a doozy, my friend. Undefeated McAllister visiting undefeated Coweta. Coweta, and they spent part of their Monday cleaning up the field after that EF1 right. tornado on Sunday night. That was crazy. Six truckloads of debris hauled off so they could practice and we could play. Yeah, it's a good one. Number two, McAllister. Number three, Coweta. Winner almost certain to finish number one in the district race. To Coweta we go. Here come those Tigers. Pack stands on the home side. They were fired up for this one. First quarter. Oh, these boys are hitting. Look at Nate Long flying in. Shoulder meets ball. That's a fumble. Tigers recover. We're going the other way, but the drive would stall. and. Here come the Buffaloes again. Always a good idea to give it to this guy, Eric McCarty. Coach Harper at Coweta said it takes a herd to tackle this kid. Yep. You see why. <laughs> Same drive, second quarter now. The jet sweep for Caden Lesnow. Good name, Caden. He has the corner. <laughs> McAllister has the lead. 7-0 fighting Forrest Mazies. Gage Ham trying to get something going with this thing with his legs. But Coweta's only score of the half would come on a safety, a high snap on a punt. The Buffaloes, meanwhile, putting together a drive in the final minutes of the half. Trent Boatwright hitting Killian Barnes here. And then with just 13 seconds left, it was McCarty finding the end zone, and the two-point conversion was good. Buffaloes taking a 15-2 lead to the half. McCarty putting this thing away with a 41-yard touchdown run in the third. Just an impressive they showing the from the Buffaloes. Yeah. Offense and defense, they march into Coweta and come away with the 33-2 victory. McAllister, 7-0. Uh, you know, I just think it, it means something to our kids. Uh, we, we take things personal on game night and Friday night. We work these kids about as hard as anybody can work in the state. And I, and I truly believe that our, our staff is second to none. Uh, our kids work as hard as anybody, if not harder than anybody. And I know what we put them through. And uh, they were physical tonight. They were physical on every aspect of the game. They were a bend but don't break on defense. And, and my DC said, hey, you're going to have to score 40 to win. And I tell them, oh, I think you're going to hold them to zero. And I'll be dang if they didn't. Oh, yeah, just physicality. I, you know, I tell them the kids all the time, it's like two heavyweight punchers, you know. You see them trade punches and trade punches and trade punches. And at some point, somebody's going to shy away. And, and, and we weren't the ones that shied away tonight. As you kids say, Forrest Maisie, that's a vibe. He is a vibe. That, that's a look. <laughs> Mama, with the handlebar mustache, and he's right. His kids play tough. Kawita has so much talent, skill yeah. position especially. To hold that team to two points. That's tough. I, that's that, that is a big time performance. McAllister, number two in the state behind Collinsville, but they might just be the best team in Class 5A without they question. They definitely just put Collinsville on notice. I got to say that. That was a fantastic, fantastic job. Big showing in Coweta.